What's up, YouTube? <laughs> This video was put together by Surprise Pika. Shout out to Surprise Pika, so good. This video is essentially a bunch of spliced runs put together from different speedrunners to make a best theoretical time. So at the moment, I think the current world record is about 25, a high 25 minutes-ish roughly by player five. Theoretically, this video shows how it's possible to break the game even further and to possibly do it even faster than that. This is a spliced run. Okay, don't get confused by changing camera angles, heart counts and inventories. Okay, that makes sense. Ah! Oh my God. They already, she, oh my God, they already spliced it. Oh, we're going, we're gonna go Boko? Yeah, we're going Boko Shield, okay. So there's two different routes you can go through to get a shield for this run. You can either do the Pot Lid route, which is a little bit slower, or the Boko Shield. You need more skill to be able to do the Boko Shield run because the Boko Shield will break on you faster. What? what? I'm sorry? What the heck was that? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my God, and they're gonna ESC into stasis? What the? What? What? So, okay, what Zeref just did was called a BTB. Um, the first BTB in the route that we currently do is not until after the stasis shrine. So that is, that was wild. They use the box to do a BTB off of the Boko to get up the wall that you normally climb to get over to the stasis shrine. And like the RNG for that would have been incredible because like obviously the Bokos needed to run in a certain pattern. And so to organize that, like from hap like to make that happen just would have been pure luck, really. I don't know if there's a way you can like manipulate that camp to make them do that, but that's crazy. This is a sub four stasis. If I get a sub four, like 440, I'm happy, but like a sub four. But yeah, with the Boko shield, essentially what you need to do is if you're gonna be using the Boko shield throughout the run, you have to do something. I don't know what the actual technical name for it is, but you're basically trying to not destroy your shield. So you need to like unequip and reequip your shield whenever you're shield jumping onto it. And it's a real pain. Oh my God. <gasps> Stop. Stop. Get, get out. Get out. No setup for that BTB. Complete, like obviously those Bokos have a certain pattern they run in whenever they notice you. And so that's what that person did. That's, that's insane. Oh my God, are they gonna do Cryo Skip Skip? <gasps> they, I'm gonna get so much hate for be calling it Cryo Skip Skip. Ah, oh, they did Cryo Skip Skip, I love it. Everyone gets so mad whenever I say that. Oh my gosh, that's been around for a little while, I think. That's been around for like a few months now. Oh, Majestic! Now it's a smidge! Oh my gosh, we love smidge! My favorite thing about this so far is also seeing people, like I recognize doing this. <gasps> oh, I've seen people do this! Oh, I've seen this. I would love to learn how to do this. I don't know how much time it actually saves. It's basically just another box walk and that was really well done. That was, that was really good. A lot of these tricks, I feel as though you end up losing time if you can't do them first try. That's, that's the biggest thing. All right, box walk. Oh wait, no, box bounce. Proof that six fish is possible, see description for details. I'll have to, oh, this is for an amiibo. Right, got it. With the amiibo run, obviously you're picking up the things from the amiibo that you drop. So you have like the fish and stuff like that to be able to, uh, to make the attack up potion that you need to defeat the climby boy. Oh my God, we got the gamer wind bomb and player five. Literally a hole in one. Oh my gosh, that was uh, that was perfect. Player five be flexing on us with that gamer wind bomb. That was pretty great. By the way, shouts out to Surprise Pika for putting this together. Like I feel as though a lot of people in the community, the, like Breath of the Wild speedrun community, have just enjoyed this. Like it's so good. All right, so that okay, we have a paraglider. The uh, paraglider was at twelve minutes and twenty seconds. The current world record for it is like 13 minutes something. So so this new route is really optimized because you pick up ancient arrows instead of having to like just rely on arrow RNG for defeating Clammy Boy, which is really nice. Okay, I wanna see how they do Windblade Skip. No, 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 I gotta pause it, I have to pause that. I, I, I wasn't gonna pause the video. I wasn't gonna pause the video. But what? No setup, no setup. So this trick, everyone who's curious, this is called the wind blade skip. So because we haven't done the divine beast in the game, we need to defeat all the blights that are a part of the divine beasts. And so 
The first blight is the wind blight, and we can skip him by shooting an arrow into his head hitbox. And when you go into the cutscene, the arrow stays in that hitbox and continuously hits him during the cutscene. Usually, there's quite a unique setup for this where you have to line yourself up with the wall, backflip, and side jump, and side jump, and all that sort of stuff. And then you get to this point and you shoot the arrow at a particular spot in the sanctum. There was no setup, they just went full, like, full rogue and just did it. That's wild. Like, I have no idea how that works. That, that's crazy. That was really good. So the blight time came in at 18 minutes and 33 seconds, and we're still watching Player 5. So Player 5 just must have the fastest blights and calamity time. So my understanding is with the new route, we're looking at using all the ancient arrows that you have to help defeat Clammy Boy as fast as possible. You don't even need to pick up the rest of the weapons, I don't think. Oh, we okay, we're swapping over to Razen. Okay, Razen's gonna pick up the extra claymore, I'm sure. There we go, because you need it for the stun lock. Oh, oh, that, that is one of my favorite things is when you go to deflect the uh, laser beam and to stop the animation, you can crouch and it stops that animation. That's so cool. Holy crap, that was fast. Oh my gosh, player five is literally insane. Also that might not hold the stun lock. <gasps> that was extremely close. Oh wow. Oh wow, that was done. All right, and now oh, Taper! Taper is going to have the final uh, Dark Beast Ganon. Also, Calamity's time was at 20 minutes and 11 seconds. That's that's wild. So I do the same thing. I run in front of Dark Beast here, and it stops Dark... Or it makes Dark Beast turn a little bit. It doesn't turn all the way around, though, which is nice. And then you can get to the, uh, the points on the side here as well. That's your favorite part? Oh, I can, I can see that. Oh, look at the pre-shot! How? How? I'm curious to see how Taper does this because I I'm always like struggling with this part to get Dark Beast to stop walking. Okay, we're just gonna linger around the back of Dark Beast because he's gonna make Dark Beast turn? Question mark. Where are you going? What are you doing? I have a lot of questions. What? What are you? Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh, wait a minute. Was that spliced? Was that not spliced? I don't know how that worked. That was really weird. Oh, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. That's crazy. That's, that's wild. Yeah, that's amazing time. 22 minutes, 44 seconds, and 167 milliseconds. That's wild. This is incredible. I honestly, I aim to, I aspire to be a part of this one day. Like, I want to be this good one day. I'm, like, thoroughly impressed. I, I, firstly, I'm glad that I reacted to this on stream because it was just so cool to watch this with you guys. Like, I still can't get over, like, this BTB. I'm sorry. Like, how? Can we just, like, relive this again? Like, we get out, we get our bow. I'm sorry, what? And then we come and use the box here, and it's like, okay! I really want to try that. I really want to try that now. I want to say a massive thank you to those of you who put this together. Make sure you go follow all the creators that were involved with this. They're all amazing speedrunners. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, my reaction, a speedrunner's reaction to the summer best. Make sure you guys go and like and subscribe. Make sure you like smack the like button like you smack the bocos when you do a BTB like that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, take care. Bye. <laughs> that was wild. That was wild. Wild. This is wild. That do be kind of wild. That's kind of wild. This is wild. That's wild. It's wild. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild.